Hey there YouTube, I've finally completed it, well, one half of it I guess, it's all wired up onto one of the power supplies, and I've got, this is my initial schematic of figuring it out, um, this is the, um, the start upside you've got voltage going to a resistor capacitor push button two resistors going to one optocoupler this one going to the other optocoupler 12 volts goes in turns on this optocoupler with an LED this other optocoupler is going over here to its 12 volt kill and that is for the 12 volt power supply, that is the power kill for the 12 volt one. And I know this optocoupler isn't necessary, however it kind of is because I'm not isolating it, I am just making them both respond the same way. Because this optocoupler is for the 24 volt kill pulls the 24 volt kill um, pin to its ground which is 12 volts. This is pulling the 12 volt kill to its ground which is ground. So it just allows them to both turn on at the same time with that that capacitor. And actually a thousand microfarads and um, this is the actual sort of schematic I have it going over here and I did change this part right here and so instead of the 3.3 volts going straight to the resistor I have it 3.3 going straight to the resistor but it's going Instead, going through a diode, going to the AC good pin, which goes to the resistor, which goes to the capacitor. Because unfortunately, when the power supply is completely off, 3.3 is not there. So, I had to use the AC good to charge up the capacitor, and I also had to make it a thousand microfarads instead of force. 220 or something small. Yeah, that's a 220. So, yeah. So you can see I've got 12 volts going in here with its little resistor, and that goes to pin 1 because I'm actually using a little connector to connect over here to the other module which has three optocouplers on it. So let's actually show you what it is. There we go. I've got the 12 volt module here and then I've got that little board with three optocouplers. So there's the 12 volt or the 24 volt on which goes on this, which turns on this optocoupler, which go puts to these two pins. Oh, what's that? One and two? There and there? No, it's the middle two. Three and four. Is that right? I... No, I'm not sure. Yeah... Oh no, it's two and three because they're moved over. It's one and two. No, one and two is that, which pulls at the ground. Yeah. You can see it's that's how it's laid out here. That's exactly how it's laid out. So it's got 24 volts going to the LED, going to the optocoupler, to the 12 volts, 
which pulls pin 3 to pin 2. Pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is the 12 volt kill. Yeah. And then pin 1 is the 12 volts, which turns on this optocoupler, which pulls the 24 volts kill to ground, malted to 12 volts. And then over here, pins 4 and 5, I have the 3.3 volts, which does turn on immediately. Um, yeah, that should work. Because as soon as I turn on the 12 volt power supply, the 3.3 volts of the 12 volt one is going to turn on, go through the little LED that I have, the little green one, going to pin 4, pin 4 goes to here, turns on this optocoupler, which turns on the 24 volt power supply, which is getting from the 1000 microfarad capacitor here a voltage through this optocoupler. So, yeah. Well, that's why I had to make it a thousand microfarads because it has to get the 3.3 volts on and it's running from a, a lower voltage from the AC good. It's not the full 3.3. So, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's show you what it looks like. Ugh. There you go. It's all kind of all over the place. But there's the power switch. There's the start button. There's that capacitor. Power on LED. Tw uh, 12 volt LED. And then there's that little module with the 24 volt LED. So, let's try it. So I've got the um, 12 volts connected there, just so it's giving itself power. Um, that should work. Ta-da! And you can see. Switch it off. Goes out. And there you go. And if I didn't have it connected, you can see like the time on delay of the push button. Whoop. Switch it on. Whoop. That was weird. So it's got a second or two. And then you can see there is the um, diode. Because this was where the resistor I had that just went down there. And so I added that diode and this wire going to the power good or the AC good and you can see all the little pins that I just soldered in the 3.3 volt is there that's ground that's the kill and then this green one here is just the um, power on I think and yeah so yeah, let me solder this guy to it, and I don't know, I'll probably test it and save you guys the boringness of just testing that part. So I'm just going to solder it all up and see if I've got a working 24 volt 1.1 kilowatt power supply. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.